Beloved, in the past weeks, the weekday gospel readings were from St. Mark. But beginning this past Monday, Monday after the Sunday after the cross, our daily gospel readings switched from Mark to the gospel according to Luke. And we will be reading from Luke's account of our Lord's life from now until we get close to Christmas, and then after Theophany leading up to Great Lent. Today we hear Jesus at the beginning of his public ministry as he calls the first disciples, Simon Peter, James, and John. And one of the things that stands out in this gospel passage is Peter's willingness to do as Jesus asks of him. Even though he had fished all night and had nothing to show for his efforts, at, Peter, at Jesus' word, Peter let down the nets one more time. And a wonder, he took in such a large number of fish that the nets were breaking and the boats began to sink. Peter had an openness towards Jesus, a willingness to listen, an attitude to go where Jesus led. There was something about Messiah Jesus as he was out on that boat teaching the people from the boat that led Peter to simply let down the nets. He said, we haven't caught anything, but Jesus doesn't have to say twice, let down the nets. He says, we haven't caught anything all night long, but at your word, I will lower the nets. Something about Messiah Jesus, his face, his movement, his walking, his breathing, his speaking, his very person that led Simon Peter to him and Peter's brother, Andrew, together with James and John and so many others. This attitude of openness to Jesus' presence in us will lead us along paths that are humble but grace-filled. Humble in that we will have to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. But grace-filled and that Messiah Jesus is with us. When our hearts are open to our Lord Jesus, it will lead us to make certain decisions, to make one choice over another. It is that we live drawn to Christ Jesus. And this makes itself known in our everyday life. We know that God calls us to pray to him. During his ministry on earth, our Lord Jesus Christ himself Pray to his heavenly Father. Openness to God means that we set aside time every day for prayer to God. And further, to live with Christ alive in us. As Mother Gabriella put it in her talk in January, if we only pray when we pray, then we don't really pray. That if we only pray when we're saying words at our icon corner, but then we live a life not of prayer, but not denying self, but full of selfishness and pride, then we're not really praying. Prayer is part of our communion with God, our conversation, speaking to God and listening to God's stirrings in our heart. And prayer is looking with Christ's eyes on others, living as he lived, not as the old Adam in us wants to live, selfishly or pridefully. Worshiping God at the Divine Liturgy requires an openness of our heart to God. It means we make the choice to set the alarm to get up and arrive on time for the Divine Liturgy. It means we fast to receive Holy Communion. It means we come prepared to give God a tithe of our time by giving him glory on the first day of the week. We do it together as the church called together by the grace of the Holy Spirit. And our openness to God means that we pray and worship even on those days when we don't feel like it. It may be those days when we most need to come before the throne of the Lord at the Holy Liturgy, when God's grace will be poured out the most on us, when we pray, 
when we worship God in the divine liturgy, it is we who are being formed and being changed. During the liturgy, we hear the prayer, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered. The gifts of bread and wine are changed into the body and blood of Christ by this calling down of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is called down upon us to lead us deeper into a life as a follower of Christ. Our openness to God by praying, by coming to the Divine Liturgy, certainly on Sunday, but even to the weekday liturgy, opens us up to being transformed to grow in likeness to God. Archbishop Alexander shared with the clergy of the diocese at the beginning of his ministry at bishop, as bishop, when he read in St. Dionysius the Areopagite, what he heard from Elder Emilianos, that serving the liturgy, participating in it, it stamps us Anyone who makes cross for I know there's a stamp that you have to press into the dough hard so when it bakes, it doesn't leave. The liturgy stamps us. It seals us. It forms us by God's grace in ways we don't even know or understand, and it forms us more into God's likeness. Even when we come to the liturgy and may not feel up to it or wonder when the liturgy ever is going to end. What is required of us is an openness to make ourselves available to God. Make the time to pray. Make the time to come to church, not every now and then, but faithfully, every Sunday, even when we are traveling to find an Orthodox church where we may worship. In this we will imitate Simon Peter, who, though tired and frustrated by his lack of success at fishing, found much blessing in opening his heart to follow the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. To our Lord Jesus Christ be glory with the Father and the Spirit, to the ages.